In this video, we're gonna talk about Erica Slaughter's Untold Origins, A Lesson in Blood. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Something is Killing the Children, issue number 37, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now, Something is Killing the Children, issue number 37, takes place of the events before Erica Slaughter arrived at Archer's Peak, which is the beginning of Something is Killing the Children, issue number one. So we get in this parking lot where it looks like a Walmart, but it's actually Paul Mark, where this girl named Francie and Ed are talking about Ed's non-boyfriend, Jake, how you need to make some commitment issues or you got some commitment issues, bro, because you guys are obviously kissing out, making out, doing all this boom, boom, chum, 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 whatever you guys want to call it. And yet he's just a friend. So we keep going on with the situation ship. Somebody's going to get hurt. And Ed's like, I've always been really clear what my deal is with Jake and Jake is OK with it. OK, period. <laughs> Even though he doesn't say period at the end of his sentences like that, I could just picture the character saying period at the end of his sentences. Kind of reminds me of a girl at work who ends her sentences with period. Okay, period. Anyways, so Francie's like, okay, if he wasn't okay with it, obviously you guys wouldn't be hanging out and spending time together. So you should go out with your fake boyfriend, all right, that you talk to every day. He's not my boyfriend, okay? Well, <laughs> I don't know, but you guys got some funny going on. So meanwhile, electronic door opens at this Paul Mark, Walmart kind of deal, even though I guess for trademark reasons, obviously they can't say that word, but we're going to use Paul Mark. Erica Slaughter and this girl walk in and Erica Slaughter tells this girl, okay, we have to be quick. I know what I'm looking for. And they just look at them like, yo, you two are sus. So this girl's like, there's a monster coming to eat everyone and you better run. Erica's like, girl, that's not what I meant. Like, you got to keep a low profile. Baby girl, you're messing it up. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just, it's fine. Nobody's here, says Erica. But she looks just to make sure that's the case because she doesn't want anyone else getting unnecessarily hurt. And Erica Slaughter tells Francie and Ed to not worry about them. And then Ed's like, wait, hold up. Is that lady bleeding, right? Period. Shut up, Ed. And then ding, the door closes. They turn around and it's like, oh. Well, that must be busted, but no one's here. That makes no damn sense. So Ed's like, we should call Andy Francie. And Francie's like, Andy's getting chon chon in the back of her car with her boyfriend at a gas station. And she will kill us if we interrupt that chon chon session. So it doesn't matter. There's a lady covered in blood. If this crap gets weird, she's going to kill us for not reaching out to her. And there's a loud and abrupt crash that just startles the heck out of them. And Francie's like, I don't get it. I didn't see anyone in that aisle. Well... Ed is like, I'm about to make a call to Jake. I'm about to make a call to somebody because you know why? Period. <laughs> Anyways, that's the right thing to do. But Erica calls the house of slaughter and tells him that she needs a full blackout on Flat Rock, South Dakota. There are civilians and she doesn't want anyone getting into harm's way. And Black Mass is like, you said you're going to take care of this two nights ago. What gives? And Erica's like, I did it. And it got bigger. And if you don't give me my freaking blackout, I'm going to black you out, bruh. And Black Mask, and you know that's got to be Aaron Slaughter right there, tells Erica Slaughter that the data blackout started the second you asked for it. I just like hearing you squirm. Electrical blackout is coming in just a few minutes. Urgh, says Erica, I'm going to strangle you. She hangs up the phone and the little girl's like, was that your brother? <laughs> Something like that, says Erica. I used to fight with my brother like that before. And Erica Slaughter's like, look, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. And I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to my awful brother either nothing too awful anyways you can slap him around a bit but not much more than that <laughs> so erica slaughter said that they kind of cheer her up and the little girl's like i can hear the monster in here it can smell me it wants to kill me yes it does want to kill you says erica slaughter it's hunting you but that means we can corner it and kill it so back to ed and francie ed's like that doesn't make any sense what person could even knock over those shelves i should know i've tried period okay i'm gonna stop saying period but i think you guys get the point on what kind of character i see this ed character being so all of a sudden the lights go out and ed's like i don't like this this is some weird shit is there like an evil ghost here or something is it gonna kill us we should run and francie's like okay it's probably just some fucked up people playing tricks on us well i don't want no freaked up people playing tricks on us we don't get paid enough for freaked up people to play tricks on us i don't want no tricks tricks are for kids well this ain't no kid action this ain't no trick cereal either so they're in the dark and France is like, well, look, I want to help find whatever's making that noise. It's making all this noise and turning over these aisles that no human can do. So Ed's like, I think it's over there. And Francie gets her phone flashlight and it's like, hmm, I don't see nothing. Well, whatever it is, it's right in front of us. All right. 
And Francie's like, I don't see anything. And Ed's like, I can feel it. It's big and it's breathing and it's coming closer. There's nothing there, says Francie. Well, there's a chainsaw that Erica Slaughter is turning up and wrapping up. And she tells the little girl, get behind me and do whatever the girl tells you to do, all right? And this little girl's like, pat, pat, let's do this, okay? Period. Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe that's one too much cups of coffee for me to do this thing, all right? So this little girl tells them people, Francine and Ed, you two follow me. I'm your boss now. I'm the captain of the ship now. And Ed's like, okay, I truly don't understand any of this. And that's got to be a comedic moment where I can see that plane like, what the fuck is going on in there? So Francie's like, I think I do. So wait, are you even taking us somewhere? So Francie's like, okay, wait, little girl, where are you even taking us? Away from the fight, says the little girl. And Francie's like, okay, I think I know where we should go. So they walk together, and Francis is like, okay, this security camera's down there, they're dead. Dead in this power outage. It looks like that blonde lady is fighting something. Is this a ghost? Is this like a real ghost fight? And Francis looks at the little girl like, okay, tell me something. What can you tell me? And little girl's like, it's a secret. Well, your secret's kind of messing up this whole entire story. And look at that secret that only Erica Slaughter can see. And she's going to work on that monster. And before I go any further, we're just going to admire that. And I just want to let you guys know. Don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool, limited print, rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. With all that being said, hey, let's get back into the content. So Ed's like, okay, this is all too wild and weird. And Francis is like, well, what are you going to do? There's no signal. Look, I'm texting my not boyfriend everything. So that way, when he gets signal, he'll be able to avenge me. All right. Somebody needs to avenge my death. Okay, period. And homegirl's like, I don't understand. If he's not your boyfriend, then isn't he just a friend? Exactly, says Ed. And Francis is like, oh, no, no, no. He's more than a friend. They keep making out, going out together, and they talk every day, like, period, okay? So that girl's like, that sounds like a boyfriend then. And Ed's like, okay, you obviously don't understand my culture. So Francie tells the little girl, like, look, I know we're in danger. I believe something real is happening down there. I just need to know what it is. And finally, the little girl confesses there was a monster, I think. I think it came out of my nightmares and it ate my little brother. And then it tried to eat me. Remember, when these kids have nightmares and they believe in that, it manifests these monsters into realization. And the more these monsters kill, the more powerful and real they become to other people. And that's where Erica Slaughter come in and the House of Slaughter. Little girl's like, but that lady down there, she saved me. And she's been trying really hard to keep me alive and trying to hurt the monster. I think that's what she does. I think she saves little girls like me from big monsters and tries to not let those big monsters hurt or eat little brothers either. So she's doing her job and I want to protect her the best way she can. So Ed notices Andy coming back and he calls out for Francie and Andy's like, what the heck is going on after my chonching session? Gotta come home to this? Well, she gets snapped up in the air and all she can do is scream like she definitely does care. Erica Slaughter comes in, does her thing, slices and dices, monster comes in half and she murders the monster, ends it all, be all. Erica Slaughter's like, there, it is done. Give me some water, chug, chug, chug. And Erica Slaughter looks at the little girl like, we need to get out of here before the authorities show up. But it's not over now. Nobody else is going to die. The little girl, all she could do is show her gratitude and give Erica Slaughter a hug. And Erica Slaughter handled that bitch. It's like, you know, that's a lesson in blood right there, baby. So Erica Slaughter is like, okay, now we just have to clean up this mess a little bit. So she takes out the chainsaw and she looks at Ed and Francie and is like, okay, I was trained from a young age to make sure nobody who learns the truth about monsters lives to talk about it. What about the girl, says Ed. And Erica Slaughter, all she can do is say this. She has had a traumatic experience. She imagined all of this. She'll grow up and think it was a weird nightmare. The rest of you, you're a problem. And Ed's like, please don't kill. And Erica's like, look, I got a heart, okay? That's why it's a good thing none of you saw anything and keep it that way. And you're lucky that I was taught by somebody with the freaking soul to handle these things like this, all right? And then the little girl's like, but he texted his boyfriend. Jake is not my boyfriend, says Ed. And Erica Slaughter's like, look, the signals are still dead. The text haven't been sent. Delete them or some very bad people are going to come to this town who interpret the rules differently than I do. Obviously, she's referencing the House of Slaughter. Make sure he deletes this and doesn't think that I'm joking, all right? And Francie's like, okay, who are you? And Erica Slaughter's like, who I am isn't important. What's important is this, that this girl is alive and that thing isn't going to get any more of them, all right? I wish I could know more, says Francie. And Erica's like, no, no, you don't. And that is the end of Something is Killing the Children, issue number 37. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in the description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video 
and subscribing to Rated Comics' YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.